Hey guys, my name is Sid. Welcome to another vlog. Today we're going to be talking about one of the best tech purchases that I made last year. And it's not anything fancy. It is just my mouse. This is the Logitech MX Master S2. And I absolutely love this mouse. Now, this is not the latest mouse that's made by Logitech. You do get the MX Master 3 as well, which has a few improvements over this. But overall, they're pretty much the same mouse. And this, by the way, is going for $60 right now versus the MX Master 3, which is going for $100. So let's get into why I'm talking about a mouse in the first place. So this is one of the best productivity mouses, mice. So this is one of the best productivity mice that's made by Logitech. So Logitech makes a bunch of different mice. Some of them are for gaming. This is more geared towards productivity. I used to use the trackpad on the iMac most of the time because the trackpad allows for easy horizontal and vertical scrolling as well as pinch to zoom. It comes in really handy when you're doing things like video editing or timeline scrubbing. With this mouse, you get the horizontal scrolling and you also get a bunch of extra buttons to set up shortcuts for different tasks that you might be doing on a regular basis. So that has really sped up my workflow in a couple of different situations. Now, one cool thing about the software on this mouse is that you can customize the whole mouse to the way you prefer it. So you can have something like smooth scrolling, which allows you to have that inertial scrolling that you see on Macs. You scroll down on a page, it'll scroll fast initially and then slow down as it comes down. And that's something I was really used to with the trackpad, which is built into Mac OS. But you can do that on the mouse as well. The mouse also has this really cool mag wheel. You can set this up again however you like, but it can either be a ratcheted mode where you can feel a click for every time you scroll down the page. It gives you a very precise understanding of how much exactly you're scrolling. Or you can have the smooth scrolling, which will just make the wheel fly with momentum. Or you can even have it in smart mode where it'll be ratcheted to a point and then when you put enough force on it, it'll start scrolling freely. Now the mouse has multiple buttons on it. So you've got four buttons on the top. You've got a programmable button in the middle. You've got your left and right click. And then you also have the scroll wheel, which can be used as a click as well. So you can program both these buttons on the top to do something that you might be doing on a regular basis. For example, I've set up my middle button over here to be expose so I can see all the apps on my computer. And then the middle button is going to show me all the windows of a particular app so if I have multiple finder windows open I can just click on this and it'll show me all of those at the same time so on the side over here I've also got two programmable buttons you could say an up click and a down click so I've got the up click set up to copy and the right click set to paste if I want to copy paste I don't have to touch my keyboard I can just do it right from here on the mouse which is absolutely amazing if you guys have an MX Master mouse just try that feature out I found it super helpful now over here you also see there's a big programmable touchpad now this allows you to do motions on the mouse so you can have it as a click and then you can also have it as a motion control click but if you click and hold it down and push up it can do something or if you push down it can do something left right so you can have all these programmable things on the mouse at the bottom of the mouse you'll see there's three settings so you can have this mouse paired with three devices at the same time i use this mouse with my computer but then also sometimes i need to connect it to my ipad to test out some stuff so i just set it into a setting two and then it instantly pairs with my iPad and I can use it and then switch back and forth as I need, which is another amazing feature on this mouse. At the bottom of the mouse, you'll also see that there is a sensor. This sensor is also amazing. You can use it on any surface you like. So I've tried it on wood, I've tried it on glass. It works great. It also tracks at 4000 DPI, which means you're going to get ultra precise control. Now, sometimes you might actually want to tone that down. You don't want it to be so precise because Sometimes it can move too fast. So I've set it up to about 60% sensitivity and I use a triple monitor setup over here. So for me to get from one end of my screen to the other end of the screen, I need a very fast mouse. Something that reads the surface really fast and that has a lot of resolution so that I get precise control over all three screens. And this mouse, even at 70%, is able to give me enough control over all three screens. That's one of the main reasons I bought this mouse, actually, because even with the trackpad at high sensitivity, using three screens doesn't really work. You need a mouse like this. Now, if you do want to game with this mouse, it's totally possible. It might not have the lowest latency ever, like some of the gaming mouses have that have to be wired. This is, of course, a wireless mouse. But you can play competitively with this mouse as well. Just crank up the sensor all the way to 4000 DPI and you're going to get very good fluid gaming control as well. Now, this mouse is fully rechargeable as well. You just need a micro USB port. The new MX Master 3 actually has a USB-C port as well. And a few upgraded features like the mag wheel on it is slightly better. 
here. The ergonomics have changed a little bit. This mouse is right now retailing for about $60 versus the $100 for the MX Master 3. So I do think it's worth looking into the MX Master 2S as well. And you get it in this funky white color, which I absolutely love. Now, when you first hold this mouse, you might find it a little bit heavy, but when you put it on a surface, it feels absolutely awesome to scroll around with. It doesn't feel heavy at all. It's also very ergonomic, so your hand will fit snugly right over it. It gives you a lot of comfort for your hand as opposed to the terrible Apple mouse. Now, I love the features of the Apple mouse, but ergonomically, I just can't use that mouse. First day that I got my iMac, I used it for two or three days and I just couldn't handle using the Apple mouse anymore because you have to hold it like this. Now, when it comes to using the mouse with multiple computers, this thing has an amazing feature as well, which is called Logitech Flow. So you can install the application for the mouse on multiple computers, register them, and then you can just drag your mouse across multiple devices. So if I had a second computer over here, like a PC or something like that, I could use the same mouse just drag to the edge over here and then I'd be on my PC on the next computer. Now, I personally don't really have a need for something like that, but it is really cool feature to have. And if any time in the future, I do decide to set up like a gaming PC or something, I'm definitely gonna use that feature. This mouse works over Bluetooth, but I would recommend definitely use the RF dongle that comes with the mouse and make sure that it's connected away from any other USB 3 ports or away from any other devices because you need to be really close to the mouse. So initially I had the RF dongle at the backside of my Mac and it wasn't connecting well, it was laggy and it just wasn't working well. And I thought I made a poor decision with buying this mouse, but once I connected it in the front of the computer using a USB extension cable, it works amazing. So when you use Bluetooth, you're not gonna get the full DPI, the 4000 DPI that this mouse offers. So make sure you connect the RF dongle to a computer that's gonna be your main workstation. Now one of the best features that has changed my life when it comes to video editing, is uh, the ability to have custom shortcuts based on which application you're using. So in Final Cut Pro, the whole mouse kind of changes based on that usage. So first of all, regularly I have the ratcheted scrolling, but when I get into Final Cut Pro, it'll automatically switch to smooth scrolling. This button over here is gonna cut my timeline. So before I see, use a shortcut like Command B to cut the timeline, so this cuts, this deletes. So when I'm editing, I can just go through the timeline, hit cut, delete, cut, delete, cut, delete. It's just two clicks like this versus having to go on the keyboard and you know use different shortcuts and things like that. So those shortcuts are basically programmed to these buttons, which makes it so much faster for me. I think I can edit twice as fast because of this mouse. So I've set this motion pad over here. When I click on it and I move up, it zooms out. And then when I scroll down, it zooms in. You've got a horizontal scroll as well to move between the timeline, which is a huge pain with any other kind of mouse. So having a horizontal scroll is perfect. And these buttons I've set up to trim to the end and trim to the beginning. Now, if you're not a video editor, uh, you might not get that, but trust me guys, this is so cool. So I have different shortcuts for different programs. So say I'm in Logic, for example, and I'm recording one of my guitars or something like that. I have a whole different set of shortcuts for Logic. I find myself using the keyboard less and less and for daily routine tasks, I just use the shortcuts on the mouse and it's made a world of a difference to my life. Uh, and my productivity, and I think I can get a lot more done just because of this mouse. So I think it was the best $60 I ever spent on any kind of tech gadget that's really improved my life. Now, if you're like me and you use your mouse every day for multiple hours, then this is definitely a worthwhile investment. And I just thought I'd share that with you guys. It's made such a big difference in my life. Maybe it will in yours as well. So if you guys like this video, hit that like button, leave me a comment, subscribe to watch more videos like this, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.